Hello, horsey people! Ah, it's been ages, but we finally have a horse reality video. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for something to happen on this account. Um, okay, so I sold all my quarter horses. We only have our top studs left, so go and check those out. So we got Chase, this one that's called number six, which needs a new name. Um, <laughs> Benny. Benny's a. Ooh. Double N. Benny is a great name. So these are all like they have to be 12. Very good. Get into the top stud line thing. Wild Brumbies, they're actually going to be for sale. But guys, look at this colour. So, like, a, what's that? A Perlino? Is that what you'd call Perlino? I have no idea. But either way, we're focusing on thoroughbreds from now on out. And um, my first thoroughbred, which is actually gifted to me by a subscriber, has aged up. And this is called a. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. Is this called an over tover tover trof tool? I don't know. That's one thing I'd like from Horse Reality, is actually the name of the colour. Rather than just having a bunch of genetics, I'd like it to have the name up here of exactly what colour horse this is. Uh, so it's, it's got an owl frame? But apparently you can't breed two owls together or something. I don't know. Guys, explain this to me. I <laughs> have no clue. Oh dear. So it's a nice horse, really nice horse, and um, we've got one very good in our achievement set. now. I think Horse Reality have tried to make it a little bit trickier. Let's enter some competitions actually. A little bit trickier to breed and stuff. They've tried to make it a bit more. Where's it? Racing. There. Oh. Yeah. I need to go on confirmation. That's what I need for. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Ah, the thoroughbred. There we go. Yeah, so everyone's obviously gone nuts for the new breed. So Horse Reality have made it a little bit harder to kind of. Um, breed and do all that kind of stuff. I don't know how you explain it. Uh, so I was just like, should we just breed her today? I think let's breed her. This is Daisy. This is going to be one of our new mares. We need to go and find a stallion. So how do we find a top stallion? Let's go to... I can't remember how I do this. I do need to go to university and study though. Let's study some... What do you call that? Morography and anatomy. I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> moving on. I need to find a stud. Okay, search. That is how we do this. And we're going to go thoroughbred. You know, flat racing, I'm not really worried actually. We need a stallion who is at stud, possibly in Europe, because that's where I am. Ironically, that's where I'm actually from in the real world too. So a lot of these have been sort of, well, I imagine they're already being bred like loads. <laughs> I love this one. <gasps> Look at him, he's so pretty. I don't know what his achievements are. They're not too bad actually, because there's a lot of good going on in there. Ooh, there's a part of me that's like, oh, what should I, I don't really know what stallion I'm looking for here. What do you guys look for when you're finding a top stallion? Oh my gosh, there's a spirit looking one here. Ah! Okay, I don't know what to do. This one looks quite nice. Oh, this one's pretty, I love the backdrop on this. Um, Okay, this isn't too bad. Aver mm. I don't know, we're winning some seconds, which isn't too bad. That's such a pretty horse. So pretty. I actually have premium, don't I? Do I have premium? Yes, I totally do. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with any of this, though, so I'm just going to move on. Look at this one. It's like a Cremello. I kind of want to breed with that just for the colours. Th this isn't too bad, stat-wise, actually. So I'm not sure what point system we're sort of going for here. Maybe if we scroll through some things, we're going to find a top stallion today. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh my gosh. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just... Oh, there's a two very good here, but that's going to be expensive. This has got two very good. Oh! Cool. Okay. Uh, let's go back because I don't like the colour. <laughs> that's so silly. Maybe... I just wish I could, like... I mean, Gallop needs to be very good, right? Because it's a thoroughbred. That's kind of how my brain kind of works with that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that totally makes sense. Um... Where do we go from here? This one looks nice. I mean, oh, having like a two very good would be great. Um, so you've put some of them have put numbers next to them, like what point systems they've won. So I might just go with a random stallion at this point because I'm just like, yeah, it'd be right. I do love a grey though, guys. But uh, okay, this one's got two very good. Uh, we did already see that, but it's quite expensive. This one's got two very good. <laughs> this one's also got two very good. We could go with this one. I mean, I love a grey. Let's have a look. 
Should we just go with this one? Oh, there's a lot of averages there rather than good. And not winning too many second prizes, quite a lot of thirds. Oh, this is so difficult. This is so hard. Let's go to the back page. I feel like start at the back and work our way through. See what we can get. Oh my gosh, look at this colour. I might just breed with it because of the colour. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> no, Lady Ranger, there are below averages. Oh, okay. I should have one very good. I mean, maybe we could have like... I wish we could have like good or above. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what comes next with a thoroughbred. Um, <laughs> oh, eight very good. Uh, five average. That's not too bad, actually. That's a cool colour. That's not too bad, actually. Should we go with that one? Or should we go with the two very good? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Is that three very good? No, but three below average. Is that what that is? Oh, I'm not quite sure what this means. Oh, he's black as well. Look how pretty he is. Oh, there are three very good. Okay, I'm just going to go with him. Where is the reading button? What? Oh, no. Guys, there's a private stud. Well, that's not fair. Well, why are you showing it to me then? Ooh, we could go with another. Can I actually breed with you? Yes! Let's go with. I don't know what the genetic potential was on him, actually. Do, 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 do. Uh, he had two very good. Oh, let's just go with him. It'll be fine. Let's find a mare. So, all we've got is Daisy. Oh, dear. Let's pay. Um, I don't really want to pay DPD, but. Yeah, let's go DPD. Shall we? Or oh, £42,000. Ouch. Uh, I love the colour of this horse. Let's have a look at the genetics. Oh my god, very similar there. Look at that. With the same sort of parent colour. Like that. Genetic potential is... Okay, not, not great on his side, but that's okay. I'm just breeding because of the colour, I think. I mean, why not? <laughs> okay, let's breed, see what happens. Oh! Da -da 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 -da. Oh, okay. So, let's go back to my horses. We only have the one thoroughbred that we can breed with, so we'll be expecting a fold from her. And we did actually get really cool names for all of these guys that you guys said, so... Somebody chose Phoenix. D did I spell that wrong? Yes. Yes, I did. So we've got Phoenix here. Uh, as you can guys can see, I went all out on the whole... Uh... Palomino thing. Uh, this is a female. I'm going to call this one Hermione. Probably spelled that wrong as well. What is going on today? I said to my students, I was like, just don't worry about spelling, all right, guys, because we've got Word these days. We can have technology helps us. Somebody, uh, one of my subscribers actually gave this photo to me as well. I'm going to. Is this a boy? Yes, this is a boy. I'm going to call him Timmy. Uh, I love. I watch your YouTube. Thank you so much. One of my favorite subs ever. You're all my favourite subs, to be honest. Ah, uh, what's this? This is another boy. I'm going to call this one... Uh, Peter. <laughs> you guys came up with awesome names for these horses. What would you name all these? Put some comments of your favourite names in the comment section below. Trigger. Somebody actually said Trigger. Ah, I can't type today. Trigger? Oh, it's a female. Um, Trigger's kind of a boy's name. Oh, we'll call Trigger the next stallion. Let's call this one, um... Uh, Daph. I don't know how to spell it, actually. Daphne. Daphne. Cool. Daphne's a great name for us. Uh, where's our next stallion? Smarty. Why does it all come in different orders now? Stupid thing. That's really annoying when that happens. So guys, can you recommend any new horse games that you think, ah, oh, they look amazing. I did want to have a go at Roblox and stuff like that. And I'm currently about to take the plunge with work and I'm only gonna work uh, my real job, my real job, two days a week. So I can work on creating more content because I absolutely love it, love it and it makes me so happy. You guys are the best community that I could have ever have hoped for. So thank you so much for that. Um, I'm gonna call this one, uh, what should we call this one? Oh yeah. Somebody recommended this. So these are all the names that we are getting through today. Hopefully we'll have another fail that I can actually name. Hey, here we go. This one can be called Trigger. Trigger's such a horse name, if you know what I mean. Timmy is not. Timmy's more of a frog name. Um, okay, this is another female. Let's call this one Marcia, after my piano teacher. <laughs> she, I'm glad she, she'll probably be like, oh, I'm glad you named me after a horse. Daphne, Daisy, Smarty. I don't want those. <laughs> I want to name my foes. I can't believe I haven't named them yet. I feel a bit, it's a bit neglectful and a bit mean, isn't it? Uh, let's call this one River. River's a great na name. You guys absolutely love that name as well. Do you guys remember River that we had from uh, Rival Stars Horse Racing ages ago? It's our, it's our Dapple Grey Mare. I'll leave a link to that actually somewhere. We bred our Dapple Grey Mare called River and it was great. 
Um, are there any more namies? Of course there are. So namey four. Oh, I like this one. I'm gonna call this one Missy. Missy. Missy's a great name. I kind of feel like I should have named Misty Missy. <laughs> if you guys don't know who my horses are in real life, then go and check out my face reveal. Or more like recently, the big summer su surprise. Oh, I'm gonna call this one. Um, Oh, what do we call this one? Uh, Shadow. I don't think it's going to go black, this horse. But, I don't know. We'll see. I just want my horses in the correct order. This is so annoying that I have to keep going back. Is there any other way around this? Or do you have to have them... Like, can I not just have them in order? That would be good. Uh, let's call this one... Gale. Like a gale of wind, because she's that fast. I don't know if we're going to have any champions out of this slot, but I'm looking forward to when they all age up and we can start breeding them properly. And then what, well, sort of my long term goal with this account is I want to create a stud farm, uh, a thoroughbred stud farm. Yeah. I'm going to call this one Harriet. Harriet's a ter terrible name for a horse. Sorry if your horse is called Harriet. Can we go to another name me? Oh, they're going alphabetical orders now. This is great. How many have we got left? Just the one? Just the two. Two. Okay. Got this one here. I'm going to call this one Flame. No, we need to say Flame for a chestnut, don't we? Do you guys know a horse called Flame? Everybody knows a horse called Flame that's a chestnut, surely. Uh, let's call this one... Um, mm, you guys need to come up with some more names for me. Uh, let's call this one with... No, I don't want to call it like anything iconic just yet, but um, <laughs> like Hermione. Let's call this one. Do guys think of a name for for a bay horse? There's only so many bay horse names we can do that aren't chocolate names. But on that bombshell, wait, I'm so dyslexic today. For goodness sake, T W I X. There we go. Gosh, I do actually suffer with dyslexia. It's a pain in the butt. That's why it helps to um, kind of. What am I saying? Sorry guys, someone just tried to call me. Oh, right, let's have a look. That's why it helps that technology exists. I don't know what I would have done years ago. Oh, this one's really cute. I don't know what they're all gonna like age up to be. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna call this one Rem Rummy. Rummy. I don't know if that is a name that you'd name a foal. I don't know. Guys, thank you so much for all your names. Eee! You're all absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what Daisy's going to produce. Thank you to the sub who gave me that horse. Um, you're brilliant. I don't know if you're on my messages. Guys, i got so many messages. I don't want to look at them. I'm so scared. It's too many. Uh, but we are going to start a true thoroughbred stud here. So I'm just hoping we can get some more horses and these are going to age up. So let's go to the foundation store. I should not be doing this. Lady Ranger. You do not need to buy any more horses. Oh, I'm just going to go a bit uh, closer down to the uh, thoroughbred section. Oh, look at this one. Look at this knob strawberry. You don't see that very often in the foundation store. They're normally quite plain Jane horses, if you know what I mean. Thoroughbred. Ooh. Ooh, it's a chestnut. Lady Ranger, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Uh oh. What's going on here? So, what's going on? This horse doesn't have what it takes. Great. Okay. How do I get to the next? Oh, what's happened? Horse has gone blue. I'm blue. Da ba dee da ba da do da ba dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da. Oh, that one doesn't have what it takes either. Should we go to the market and have a look and see what other thoroughbreds are about? What's this? This is new. Take a stroll through our market. See if you can find anything you like. What's this office? Organize all your market affairs here. Wow. So okay, they've changed stuff on horse reality. I love horse reality. It's probably it's actually the one game I've sort of stuck out. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Wow, look at the colour on this one. Ooh. Uh it's just one of those things, isn't it, where you don't kind of want people to um get too advanced with the horses straight away, if you know what I mean, because it kind of takes the fun out of the game. This is what happened to the game horse h-o-w-r-s-e this is what happened right so the game was great in 2006 that's when i started playing it yep i'm old okay and um it was great there were different breeds and stuff but they just turned into a money grabbing like cop out there we go um so yeah they didn't put any extra you know the, it's a horse game not a weird fairy game with weird monsters on it and stuff do you know what i mean I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But then I'm an adult, so... <laughs> what am I doing here? I'm just going to get all disciplines. 
Uh, yeah, I don't really care, actually. We probably just want mares, actually. Uh, 75. Do they get to 75, these horses? Let's go to 16. Buyout price, my lord. Okay, let's go to something like... Why is there so much... I think they need to sort this system out a little bit, because that's really silly. God, see, that's 2 million. There. Is that 2 million? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's just get... What's premium search? Oh my goodness. Total GP. Well, it's not going to be that much, is it? Or is it? I have no idea. There's only anything less than, like... I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's just search. Let's find some thoroughbreds. Hopefully there'll be something good here. I would like an older horse. So let's have a look. Ooh, what is this black? Oh, so nice. £80,000, oh my lord. Actually, well, we could put a bet on one. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I'd like something. Let's start at the back page. Ooh, look at this one. Oh, this is a splash white. I can't remember how, what you call this, really. Guys, right, I shouldn't be looking at horses. Right. Okay, I just wanted to show you that we've aged our first mare up and my plans for the thoroughbreds. That's what I've got. And these are all of my top studs that are still around. So we'll keep working with these as well. Um, and I had some really bad news for you guys. Charlie died. Oh, Charlie died. I had a comment from a sub like last week saying, oh, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but Charlie's died. And I was like, great. Because I haven't been able to log on because work's really busy at the moment. Oh, so Charlie has died. And so has, I believe, hang on, top studs. I think the silver stallion, uh, you know, the black stallion I had, I think, or oh, did I sell him? I can't remember. Uh, let's just check Benny is actually available for you guys to breed from. No, he's not. Is he not old enough yet? I don't know why it's taking so long to age up horses. I really don't. But it's weird, isn't it? But hopefully, guys, we will have a plan with this game at some point. Because as I said to you in the last video of Horse Reality, which was donkeys ago, um, I'm a bit lost of what I'm doing on it. But I think because of the new breed, it's given me a bit more focus. We are going to be breeding for the best thoroughbreds, I suppose. Uh, see if we can get to 12 very good. It might take us years. And then, yeah, we're going to have a thoroughbred stud farm. That's what we're going to have. So, I'll tell you what, why don't we call this today The Journey of a Thoroughbred Stud Farm, Episode 1. That that sounds good to me. Let's do that. And Daisy's going to be our first mare, thanks to a subscriber, that will hopefully produce one of the first from our studs. I'm not sure what abbreviation to use. I could just use Daisy LRG, but then it would be her foal, not her, wouldn't it, I suppose. I don't know how abbreviations work. I'm not very uh, apt with that sort of thing. Okay, guys, if you've enjoyed that video and you want to see more Horse Reality stuff, and what would you like to see in Horse Reality? Do you want to see what different breeds and different colours produce and stuff like that? Or do you just want to see how I'm going to make a epic stud farm? I don't actually know myself, but we'll figure that out as we go together. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and if you've enjoyed this video or you just love horses and you're a bit horse crazy, then please give the video a thumbs up. You guys are literally the best. We're nearly, nearly, nearly... Well, we're not really. I want to get to 20,000 subs, guys, so please subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Let's have a horsome day. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye.